What's good, YouTube? I go by Raymond Tackle Forever. If you haven't took the time to subscribe to my channel, please take the time to do so. Help me on this road to reach 3,000 subscribers if you have. Thank you for your support. Today's video, I'm doing a story time called Sex Ed is a requirement class in high school nowadays. Um, yesterday, I was talking to, with my kids. Well, not yesterday, I'm gonna say Sunday. Sunday, I took my kids out and we enjoyed some time together and um, I was talking with them everything. And my daughter revealed that it's a requirement nowadays that you have to you have to complete you have to pass sex ed in order to graduate. Let me say that one more time for all the parents out in America like me. They have to pass sex ed in order to graduate. That took me by surprise because I didn't know it. I haven't heard that in the news, nothing about it. If my daughter didn't tell me that Sunday, I wouldn't even know about it. I was shocked to hear it. And I'm impressed with the things that they're learning. She's been telling me about how she learned about oral sex. I don't know. How to put a condom on a man, how to put a condom on a woman. Um... A whole bunch of different things. I'm very impressed. You no, know, I don't have a problem with none of that. I don't have a problem with none of that, you know. But and um, she was telling me how I asked her, you know, I asked her questions, you know, about her sex life, or whatnot. And she was like, she's scared to have sex because of chlamydia. And I'm like, why is that STD so stuck in your mind? She's like, because a girl in her class had sex and her catching chlamydia. And I'm like, okay, I understand that, but at the same time, there's a lot of other STDs out there that you can't get rid of. Chlamydia can be cured can be taken care of, but ladies or HIV can't, you know what I mean? I had to break it down to it, but I mean, I'm impressed that she's that terrified of comedians, and that's what's keeping her from being sexually active right now. Well, according to what she told me, you know, but I can't, I can't want to believe her word until I find out otherwise to her actions. But the part that really got my attention and what made me do the video and, and the fact that I've been talking to everybody about this matter since I heard about it Sunday is that she told me that the teacher told the class that a female, a student, a teenager can go to the doctor and get birth control without the parent knowing because once the, once the, once the teenager, once the daughter asks the doctor for the birth control, he can't, it's confidential. He can't send it to the mother about that. Now, me personally, I feel like I agree with everything that, that the teacher teaching the students, but that right there, that little piece of advice, she should have kept that to herself. She should have kept that like I, she should have kept in her head. Like I tell a lot of pastors that that you know when you preach in the word of God, your opinions don't matter. Preach it straight from the Bible, from the Bible. That's why I like the pastor that I deal with because everything that he preached in the word of God comes straight from the Bible. And I feel like this situation should have been done like that. You know what I'm saying? That one that that one little piece of advice should have been revealed. Let them find that one piece of advice out on their own. You know what I mean? Because because if these students can, what would happen? What y'all think would happen? A lot of students find out. Oh, I can just go to the doctor, have my parents take me to the doctor, and ask for some birth control, and it'll stay between me and the doctor, and my my parents will find out. Like that's no, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. That little that little trick should shouldn't be missing in class, but it was. And I've been talking to a lot of a lot of parents about it, male parents, you know, and um. They feel the same way I do. So now I wanted to bring it to YouTube and see how everybody feel about it. You know, because me, I'm very, I'm very mad that the teacher told, told, told the students that, that uh, they can go to the doctor and get birth control without their parents knowing because it's confidential. Whatever you talk to the doctor about is confidential. You know what I mean? I feel like, because, you know, I come up, I come up in an era where everything I needed to learn about life, I mainly learned at home. You know what I mean? Where it's stuff like that about sex, I learned at home. You know, so I feel like that 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 piece of advice should should not came to the came to the surface for the students. So that's my opinion. That's how I feel about it. Y'all let me know in the comment for a shout out my shout out video the last Sunday in January. How y'all feel about it? Do y'all feel that the teacher was wrong from revealing that that uh they can go to the doctor and ask for birth control and it will stay between them and the doctor? Do y'all feel that's right or do y'all feel that's wrong? Let me know in the comments. I'll be giving you a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday in January. Also, if you like this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Most importantly, if you don't like this video, take the time to go to my mini playlist and find a video that you like. If you like that video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Most importantly, turn on post bell notification. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I want to wish everybody the best in 2021. You know, Happy New Year to everybody. I wish everybody never success, never positivity. Remember, everything for 2020 was left in 2020. You know, and parents, stay on top of your kids, man. You, you know, stay informed on what, what they're learning in class because you, you'd be surprised some of the things they're learning nowadays. Trust me, I know.